Hello, hello everybody, I'm Concho, you're you, and welcome back to more Killer Frequency. I don't know how we're doing. I think we're doing okay. We probably could be doing better, but you know what? I'm giving it my all and that's all that matters. And we're gonna see what happens now, because I really don't know. Let's get going, Peggy. Let's do it, Hi. Peggy. We could run another segment or... Uh-oh. Scratch that for us. We have a caller. Oh yeah, we do. When you're ready, shut the music off. Ah, oh, God. You're through to 189.16, The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Hello. Oh, that call with the teens was awful. Those yeah, that was pretty kids. bad. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Yeah, Thanks me too. for your concern. Uh, are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it. Mm. But you didn't. Well, Your we name can't. Your Dawn, right? What, Peggy? Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn. And I wanted to ask you again to play my tune for us. Well, we can't. Long ride home? You know, the one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? Mm-hmm. I'll play a track for you, Dawn, but maybe pick another one? We don't exactly have that one in rotation right now. No, Forrest. Uh-oh. You do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. I can't just go outside hunting for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get oh, it right now. Boy. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take a second to grab it. Um. Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's... Something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. Oh, but I think you will. Oh Forrest. boy. Forrest, Peggy, I'm I'm calling with more than a request. Okay. I know something. Oh I dang. Think I know who's gonna be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. <sighs> well, folks, here's some music for you while I think things over. Oh, I don't want to ever introduce serious, it. Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. Peggy, yeah. I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? Not really. If she's telling the truth. Uh, why don't you go? No. All right, I'll do it. I'm not going to force yeah, her to go. Good man, Forrest. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. <laughs> wait, wait, our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it, uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. Wait. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Yeah, that's bad. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. No. 189.16, The Scream, with me, Peggy. Well, actually, yeah, why not? Well, we got the fire escape key. Give me that, thank you. What was that noise? Is that over here? That's not opening. What is that? Should we be concerned about that? Well, I guess we just go to the roof. Unlock. Uh, all right, what? What am I supposed to do? Find the record in the alley. Yeah. Isn't that what I was doing? Or is there a different door? Oh, is it back here? Oh, yeah, look at that. Coffee. I like coffee. <gasps> we have a full kitchen? Oh, my God. We really are fancy here. Uh, what is that, milk? Ah, I don't want the milk. I don't want the bottles. I'm pouring out. All right, now that we cleared out the fridge... What is this, a radio? I'm sure that's gonna come into play. This better not be playable. Okay. Every time, the last few games I've been playing, there have been game video games in the game, and then I get distracted with it. Ah, someone else will pick up the milk. Ooh, that seems important. That fire extinguisher seems very important. There's the exit, what's over here? That's a stairwell, oh. I need a key to get in there. Oh, it keeps going. 
Oh, a lot of mouse traps. Just randomly thrown about. Thrown? That's a word. Well, let's go out here. Is this? Yeah, so this is where you I know, was earlier. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Hello. Yeah, who are, why are you, why are you talking? Why are we? Why are we not, man? Oh, God. Oh, hey. Um, did you notice that one, my friend? Did we, did we pay attention to that? Probably not. Here it is. Long ride home. Oh, I actually do hate this. What was in that other room? There's no... Yeah, it'll be fine, right? I'm just gonna go over here and look at... Oh, I can't go over there. What is this? That seems important. This seems really important. Does it go in this thing? Am I going to solve a problem because I have big brain? Big brain? Uh, big brain. No big brain? Oh. Big brain. Uh, or do they, are they all out here maybe? That seems weird to only have, what was that? I don't like that at all. It's also telling me to interact with things out here, which I feel like is important. Anything else of use? Oh, uh-huh, A30, or was I supposed to replace the, I'm so confused, 70? What is, 70, uh, whoops, does this say anything on it? It's a green one, I don't know. If any of those, like this is. Interesting. I feel like this has to pertain to something. Another one of these. What? Well, they were all green. So maybe this one doesn't do anything? So there's one more lane about around here? What does this accomplish though? I guess we're gonna find out. Oh! Uh. Oh! So what does this get me? Does it get us anything, or am I just doing this because I saw shiny things and now uh, I'm trying to accomplish a goal? Both are possible. Is up good or bad? It says 70 on the side, so that has to mean something. There's... Ah, math. That's what it means. It means math. So we have to get to 70. So I'm assuming red 30. All right, hold on. We're going to we're going to do this. I'm going to put them all on the floor because I can do math. So, we've got 30. This is 55. No, that's 50. 55, 60. So those don't work. 50. So I need 20 more. Or like a 10. Or two 10s? Oh, when I have to do math, it's never good. I have a film degree. 
There's got to be something in the garbage, or it wouldn't make it a specific thing to look in there, right? Here's another one. Oh, here's a blue one. The blue ones are 15. So 50. Oh, yeah. 50 plus 15 is 65 plus 5. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know what this is all for, but it's going to be great. Put you in there. And then one of the fives. Bingo. Did I? What did I do? Did I? Did I put shutters on the, the place? No, it opened this up. I could probably survive that fall. Oh, is this a one-way door? Of course. It locks behind me. Mm -hmm. And of course the key doesn't work on this side. I had to do this anyways. <laughs> Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. Oh, like I'm door, so smart. Elevator or something. It looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name oh. was? Clive. Um. Um. This is uh weird, right? This is real, real weird. What's that? What? We don't need the base to drop. What is going? What the hell? Peggy is not going to believe this. What's the noise for? We don't need all the noise. What's ahead? Was there anything? Crime syndicate impounded. Joseph, I don't. Formula Captain Chuck Royce have a career ending injury. Oh, can want Rebecca Allen. Who are all these people? Aunt William, Rebecca. I don't know if I'm supposed to remember all that stuff. We should get out of here. No one thought it was smart to check down here what this person was doing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Does this open up? Where am I? I wonder how the show's going. Okay, so those aren't places to hide. So that's good. God, please let this be the last locked door. What a... Peggy, can you open the door, please? Oh, those are bugs. I... How do I get out of here? Is there a way to get out of here? Or is there a key in here I didn't grab? Oh, it's pointing to something. That I can't read. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Ah, there's the beautiful key. I should be able to get back to the studio now. I'm so distracted. So easily distracted. Are we safe to just go back? No problems whatsoever. Everything is fantastic and wonderful. Yes. Oh, wait, this is where that... Oh, okay. What's this? Another janitor closet? Some sponges, a mop. That's cool. Do, 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 look at me, I'm cleaning up the place. I keep expecting to walk in and something just staring at me. Hey, Peggy. Um, not gonna lie. Oh, wait, can I just walk through doors? I don't have to. Do I not have to worry about doors being open? Can I just walk through them? That would be nice if I could. 
Oh my god. I've been sitting here. You can just walk through them. Isn't that such a good song, folks? Oh. And now for Jesus Forest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. I got locked something outside. Happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. What? I'll start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 2.40 in the morning. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as what? hell, what and thing? I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. Okay. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement. Correct. Made by our creepy janitor. Yeah, who Hundo. you think is the creepy whistling man. 100%, yeah. yes. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Correct. Kim Walker, yes. Rebecca Allen, and uh -huh. Aunt Williams. Yes. Correct. And you think one of these people will be the whistling man's Clive's next target. That's mm -hmm. right. And we've got to find them. You said there are four locations listed there, too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations tonight. Hit the button if you need any help. I, how am I supposed to... Oh! Oh, we brought the board up here. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> right, 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 let's do this. <gasps> so, Chuck Brody. Chuck Brody at... Uh... Athletics Club. Chuck Brody, where are you? Uh, Dallas Creek. Official. I don't. Am I supposed to know? Oh no. Oh boy, it's not gonna go back. Criminal syndicate, criminal operations, police event. Chuck Brody, up to your safety. Beep beep. Look out, tragedy. Uh, tragedy struck Dallas Creek yesterday. The deceased have been as Gallows Creek locals, Mr. Rudd, Mr. M. Christine, Ms. K. Stein, and Ms. J. Mildred. Oh, God. 24 hour balance by local, local legend uh, takes to Manhattan. Famous. She stole Jim Randy. I don't know how I'm supposed to figure this out. What am I? Former Gall Captain Chuck Brody suffered a career ending injury as a victim of a festival disaster late last year. To him on his road, we are buying him some lottery tickets. Hopefully he gets lucky and can get back on his feet. Pun not intended. Drop ticket in the bucket below. So, yeah. Dallas Creek Festival closed early after tragedy struck only hours after opening. The big wheel broke free from its supports. Monday, September 1972. Rebecca Allen, Kim Walker. I don't... What am I supposed to be figuring out here? They have ordered a community so Please, today, have... Wait. Uh, Merit, uh, we'd like to celebrate the marriage of Kim Walker and Peter Stein. May 1970. Um, hey, Peggy, I don't know what I'm looking at here. How's it going? Uh... uh it's not going well. I, I could use some help. Okay. Let's review the basics. Uh -huh. We need to work out who the next target is. Yeah. There's four locations, right? Yeah. And four people. We need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. But there must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? Is it all... Uh... Record hired 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek. Local doctor K. Walker recommends all locals get their flu shot. Blue season upon us. 84 is no different than any other year. 72. Trailer. Call Tyler Wallace. I don't. I feel so stupid right now. Game day. That's from 1969. Do you have a future mystery guess? Christine's gasser has been even he has what Greek marriage announcement Kim Walker married Peter Stein 
And the McCarthy Syndicate. For two, her, uh, the informant who remained and will herefore be referred to as R.A. So, Rebecca Allen is that. Kim Walker got married. Contact estate Tyler Wallace. Buy it, please buy it. Oh, uh, is there any more to this? Sheriff Matthews. That doesn't seem to have anything important on it. Local legend. That's multiple trailer parks. Justice for festival victims. So they got married in 1970. This happened in 1972. And roll through town and it's more on page 12. Farmer uh, is a victim of the festival disaster. Okay. So Chuck Brody was part of, oops. Have we talked to these people already? I don't know. Chuck Brody was injured there. Kim married them. Rebecca Allen was that. Surge staff, uh, Gallo Group hires 20 new people. I don't know. I'm about by local ex lottery winner. Justice for fat, the two, blah, blah, blah. Uh, lead engineer Ant Williams and Junior uh, were distracted talking about horror movies. Okay. So Ant Williams was an engineer who. <laughs> Ant Williams was an engineer on the big wheel. Uh, they have been ordered to community service for a total, so okay. So Ant Williams, engineer. Chuck got hurt by it. Rebecca was the person who helped with the syndicate. And then Kim is like a, a police person, right? So it's Ant Williams is the person we need to, because he's he's part of the lead engineer, right? Lead engineer, Ant Williams. Yeah. So Ant Williams, but where is it? Mr. P. Stein. Oh, okay. So in 1977, Kim Walker's husband died in a, in this accident. Um, I guess. But how do we know where he would be? I am so confused. I think it has to be Aunt Williams. Because Aunt Williams is here, 1987. We had in... So Kim and Kim and her husband were married in 1970. This is also 1987. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Mr. Made informant are Rebecca Allen. I'm going to say it's Aunt Williams. I'm going to, I'm going to say it's Aunt Williams. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you yeah. sure? We've only oh, got one shot God. at this. Oh, maybe not. Uh, actually, give me a bit longer. How am I supposed to guess location? Like, what? Trailer park. So not at the trailer park. Because that's where that takes place. I guess. The gas station... 24-hour gas station bought by local ex-lottery winner. So who won the lottery? New owner claims it will keep me busy in the evening. He has asked to remain anonymous. It's a he, so I don't know who that would be. Kim's probably at the hospital because she's a doctor. And beep beep look out tragedy 16 after brakes fail on bus afternoon after a bus crashed failed to stop and crash into a fuel tanker <laughs> okay so I mean we have the gas station 
Who won the lottery? Festival accident. I don't know why this dude would be... Why Aunt Williams would be... Get started in a career of health and safety. Because it seems like Aunt Williams caused a lot of problems. Chuck Brody. Rebecca Allen was there. Trailer for sale. I'm sick of being local so that people are so mean to me. I only stole a few cars. Who cares? Buy a new one. I'm selling my trailer and leaving town. I just want to get out of here. Please buy it. I'm sure there's so many people watching this smacking their head against the like floor. But this is really... I just don't... I'm just not getting it. Quiet Ridge Health and Safety Convention. Quiet Ridge? Is that where we are? No, this is Gallows Creek. So he's not even here. So Aunt Williams isn't even in town. So we don't have to worry about that. Local man. Infamous author of tell-all book, Diary of a Car Thief, moves out. She stole her car and she stole her time, said our reviewer. Last year. Okay. So then Rebecca Allen is gone. She's gone. Who is still here? Kim is still here. She's at the hospital. I would assume. But who would be at the... And then Chuck. What does Chuck... Or is Chuck gone? Staff surge at power station. That was... I think that was in 1969. So I'm going to say that Kim at the hospital. That's what we're going to go with. How's it going? We're going to go with Kim at the hospital. I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? Yep. We've only got one shot at this. Yep, Kim at the hospital. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Oh, I think it's Kim. Kim Walker. <sighs> and where will I find them? The hospital. The hospital. The hospital. Okay, I'm dialing. Oh, I'm so stressed. <laughs> Forrest, I'm through to the hospital, but... Crap. They say there isn't anyone by that name there. What? What? Then who? <gasps> Jeez! Oh! It sounds like something blew up! He's using bombs now? Oh my god. The call board, it... I... <sighs> One moment. Oh. Forrest, I'm getting so many calls. Uh, uh Just let me... I'm gonna take us off air for a moment. Okay. But there's no one by the name of Kim Walker? Peggy, what's happening in there? Peggy? Peggy. Oh, I really messed up. I'm back. He blew up the gas station forest. Oh. Okay. I spoke to the fire department and the hospital. The fire department is useless now, as you know. And, uh... Who? The hospital's only ambulance was at the gas station. Forrest, you... You've got to say something on the radio. I don't even know who. You have to tell the town. I'm putting us back on air. Uh, okay. Now. Gallows Creek. I don't know how to tell you this. But, uh, uh, the gas station's been bombed. Please, everyone, stay safe, stay inside, and... Oh, just bring us into some music, Forrest. Here's some music while we regroup here on KFAM 1. How was I even supposed to the stream? It's been sold to a man who won the lottery four times 14 years ago. I Oh There's I... gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Sure. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. By okay. we, you mean me, right? Yep. Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned before. Uh -huh. I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Okay. Me too. Yeah, waved at me. Okay, let's go take a look and see if there's anything down there. I really... 
I am not getting any of this. I guess I didn't. I I don't know. Ah, uh, whatever. We're doing an adventure. That's all that matters. We're figuring this out. It's all going to work out at the end. Just please don't ever expect me to help figure out any cases. Because apparently I'm bad at it. What are we? The mannequin room? Up. Yeah. Up. Following the pole. We got pictures following the pipes, maybe? Hmm. A key? Was this always here? What key? What? I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh! Basement storage? How did you miss that? Where? Oh, man. So, this way? Was this basement storage? I don't really remember. This has to be it. Okay. What? Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. God. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Okay. Uh. That's a big map. That's such a huge map. Is that the same map? It is the same map. It looked bigger. Oh, we have a tape. Photos. I need to check these to make sure no one's hiding in there. Okay. Well. Screwdriver, headphones. I got some photos. What is cassette player in there? Is that what that's trying to tell me? Peggy, I found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Uh-huh. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Sure. Can I just actually go in here? No. Can I... Oh, there is a tape deck right here. Yeah. We all heard that he drowned after a night out drinking. Was it actually Clive? Uh oh. Clive been the whistling man for that long? He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Okay. Sure. That is it in here. Time of autopsy is 7 a.m. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Uh huh. There's another photo, but it's hard to read. There's a radio. Where was that at? Right here? Just checking everything. Making sure. Delivery note. Oh, client opted for manual installation. What is this? Starling Security. Charlotte Road, Raspberry. I'm sure I feel like that's probably important. Oh, keypad. Factory access code. Warning, this will set off the security ad ad activation code. 81. This seems important. Having this. Oh, God. How did I... Yeah, okay. And then, where did the photo go? So the photo is a little thing 
over here somewhere? Yes. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running through foliage. Severe blistering to the feet. Oh. As though the deceased had been running without stop. Oh boy. This looks useful. This thing? Or this? Uh, at 4 a.m. a call was received from a jogger, Miss Sandra Sharp. Oh, Sandra! That a body had been found washed up in the reservoir. I drove to investigate. I contacted the coroner's office, and then the boys, they informed me that they had not seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. George Barrow. Okay. This is... I'm assuming in here somewhere? Back here? Yeah. No. I mean, that's important, but... Where? Oh, I'm getting freaked out. Oh, I'm getting real, real freaked out here. It's... Unless did I accidentally skip one, or is this just a... Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Uh -huh. It looks like it was trapped in a car door. Oh. That's not good. This way? I don't... I feel like I'm not going in the right area. Because this is clearly... It showed some wood? I just want to make sure I'm not missing one. Because this seems really important. Not that I can see anything. Back here, maybe? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found. Okay. Indicating elevated levels of stress mm. in the immediate moments before death. That's not good. So we already found the other one, though. Which then... This one... Was right here. I didn't see a photo in here anywhere, though. Ah. So then we have the drawer over here. Yeah, which is right here. We play this one. This has to be important. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. The deceased, uh, the cause of death is established by drowning, shown by sons of Virginia. Variations were found. Pretty name of county national examiner. This, okay, so Virginia was the examiner. So Virginia was the examiner. The sheriff was the one that found the body? It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Oh. Okay, so order of events here, just really quick. The sheriff is the one that found the body. Sandra is the one that reported it. Virginia was the coroner. So, so far, all the people who have been attacked at, were a part of this whole thing. Humpty Dumpty? Written by someone we should know. Gallo Creek presents, starring uh, Maisie Cartwright as Don, George Barrow as Henry, Marie Campbell as Anne. Uh huh. If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. 
this I don't even know what I'm doing I there I guess this wasn't important okay we're gonna head back and then hopefully be smart enough to figure this all out cuz uh, all seems wild whoops wrong way hey Peggy can I not? Hey, Peggy. Oh, do I just head back upstairs? There's still more to do here before I can leave. What? That's the intercom system. But it won't let me use it. What have you oh. found, Forrest? It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but... It does. I, I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape. It talks more about how George died. What did it say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Spreading through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What did it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know. And I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wait, the caller from earlier. When we had to call the takeout restaurants, wasn't her name Virginia? Yeah. <sighs> If only she had made it. Then we might have learned more about what's going on. It's okay. We did what we could. Yeah. The takeout idea was a long shot as it was. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Mm -hmm. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, after he died. How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Fair point. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? 
I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra? The jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah? What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. Mm. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Mm -hmm. Something like that. I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. This is wild. George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit, where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I think it was Clive. This is starting to make sense now. Is it? This this is oh. a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. Yeah, I agree. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. God. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. Uh, Why didn't he just come out with all of them? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you'd killed all those people. Do you think you found everything? I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? I don't know. Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Oh, come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. I... My entire brain is broken. I'm I'm following for the most part what's going on, but this got all kinds of twisty tur turby turdy blah 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 haba haba. Uh, okay, okay, y'all. After that lore dump, you're just gonna have to tune in next time to see what's going on in Killer Frequency. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all!